One way that you can add written content like an essay or a resume into Weebly is to embed a Google Doc version of that document into the Weebly page. There are several ways that you can do that, uh, get those pieces into to Google Docs, whether that's something that was initially composed in Google Docs, whether it was initially composed in Word and then converted into a Google Doc, or something from a different program that was converted into a PDF, and then the PDF is hosted within the Google Drive space. This video will show you how to embed all three types of documents within the Weebly site. So the first thing is just to have a page ready for your content, and then the next step is to go into the My Drive or Google Drive space and to upload those files. Clicking the, the upload link on the left-hand side, you can either do it file at a time or you can choose to upload an entire folder. I'm going to choose the entire folder just because I have it created and I think this is the easiest way. Uh, in this ePortfolio PDF folder, I have two PDFs and then also one Word document to show you the difference. So you can click the folder or the individual file depending and then hit select. In terms of the settings, if you want the documents to be converted into a Google Docs format, click the check mark. If you just prefer them to stay in the PDF or the original image, you can uncheck it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one converted and one unconverted. So I'm just going to leave them this way. Um, but I am always going to leave the confirm settings before each upload checked because I like to know what's actually happening. And then I'll start the upload. You'll see here in the bottom left, there is a sort of toolbar that lets you know what the progress is. What it'll do if you upload a folder is create a whole folder and then individual files within that folder. When it's done, it'll say they're uploaded and you can click the link to see what's in here. Sometimes it'll create um, a, an odd file that I think just has to do with the file upload and when you go in you'll realize that there's, it's not really anything, there's not a preview available. So that one you can either leave in or most of the time I delete it, but make sure you check it. Um, and then you'll see the two PDFs that I uploaded and then the doc, uh, the Word doc that I had converted into the Google Docs format. I actually want to start with this one because I think it's more complicated to work with these files than it is the PDFs. So you'll just open this uh, sample doc and you'll see the text has been brought in with most of the formatting, but you want to check it uh, to make sure that it's converted correctly. And then what you'll do is you'll go to File, Publish to the Web, and you'll click the button that says Start Publishing. Once you do this, um, it will give you an embed code, and that's what you need to take over into Weebly. So you'll want to copy that text, go into Weebly, pull down some custom HTML, and then in that custom HTML box, you can paste the embed code. Now when you do this, what I want to show you is that the standard is a very small page. Um, it's not necessarily what you want. And so um, if I was going to show you what this actually looks like on the standard PDF page, it's really small and sort of awkward to read through all of this material. What you really want is something that's a little bit closer to what I would call 100% width. And that's actually uh, based on the HTML code that you can change. And this is what most people are looking for. So how do you get it this way by using the HTML code? It's actually quite simple. So I'm going to show you the code here from this page. If you click in it, all you need to do is add inside the iframe tag width equals quote 100 percent quote and then depending upon the height that you want you can either add in a percentage or you can add in a pixel size. I've used 350 because that's a good way to keep it without um, having the audience member or the reader scroll totally down the page and then have to go all the way back up to the navigation. Um, so if you go into this page if I click it you'll see here's the standard code that you get out of Google Docs, all you have to do is come in and type width equals 100% end quote and then you don't necessarily have to put these on different lines but I'm doing it so that you can see it. I'm actually going to show you 500 pixels right now to show you what it looks like if it's a little bit bigger and then now you've got that full width and you'll see it's a little bit longer on the page but you can always go back in the main thing is that you've gotten the uh, source H, uh, the source URL. You can always go back, even if you want to make this say 200, 
make it really, really skinny in height, you can do that as well. So there's a lot of easy customization there. If you wanted to add the PDFs, I'm going to delete this one out, go back to the blank page. Let's go back to one of the PDFs. It's actually a little bit easier. So let's take this CV. I'm going to click into it. I'm going to go to the same file menu, but instead of clicking publish to the web, I'm going to click embed this PDF file. And the HTML is going to be there. I just want to click in, copy it, and then bring it over into my custom HTML. Paste it as well. And you can take a look and see what it looks like. A little bit better, right? Because it, it's sizing it now appropriately. But when you do this, you may say, well, I'd really like it centered on the page. So you can go up to alignment, center it. It's going to be a little bit smaller. But again, you can always go back in, change that to width 100%. Maybe not 1,005. Who knows what that'll look like. And then the height, again, if you want to do, you know, 500 pixels. And that's going to give you the much larger version. A uh, little bit more readable, and then you don't have to worry about your audience needing to maximize or minimize that text. So, embedding a Google Doc within your Weebly pages is quite simple, regardless of whether that piece was composed in Google Docs, Word, or you'd like to keep it in a PDF form because it's uh, something in Publisher or InDesign or any other program. As long as it can go into a PDF, it can be hosted and you can get it uh, to have that clean look.